Uh, we have a special guest that flew in from Chicago. Uh, we have Chef Dan Peretta here, and uh, he's going to explain to uh, us uh, why he's here. What's up, guys? Yeah, so when I'm not in the kitchen, I'm always talking to Frank, Lou, and Vic about some of the corals here at Worldwide Corals. This is my first time checking out the store, the new location, and, uh, and the farm. Picked up a lot of great stuff, and you guys got to check it out. It's a really, really great store, and some of the corals here are the best in the country for sure. So when uh, Reef of Palooza was happening, some of the Worldwide Corals guys came down and got to hang out with me in the kitchen and have dinner. I think they had a great time and, and cooked up a storm for Frank, Lou, Vic, Tommy, the whole crew. So we got a few pieces that uh, Dan picked out. Uh, we got a, a pink passion acropora. Uh, that's kind of a fan favorite. It's a tabling acro with uh, gold polyps. Um, definitely a nice piece. Uh, so the second one we got here is a paradise acropora. Uh, it's a tenuous type and Dan, Dan really likes his tenuous so this is what we picked out for him. And here we have another tenuous um, that's that's pretty famous and uh, very well known in the hobby. Um, it's a Walt Disney. And uh, I believe Dan has been looking for one of these for quite a while. So we, so we got one for him today. And here's something that I, I'm a favorite, fan favorite of is, a, we call it a Mighty Mouse Tenuous. Uh, another Tenuous for, for Dan here. And uh, this is kind of one that I, that I showed him. And then we got this Bikini Navini. Uh, this one's just got bright green. Uh, polyps with uh, with like a chartreuse type of polyp on here it makes it really bright and uh, and colorful. But this one is a sunset monopora, and um, this one's been around for quite a while. Uh, it's been in the captivity and been in the hobby for probably a couple decades. Um, just a very stunning monopora, and it's something that Dan has not does not have yet. So um, we grabbed this one for him too. All right, so here's a few more of the really nice pieces that I picked up at Worldwide Corals. Uh, a few Rainbow Acan Lords. See, this one's really nice. You can see the size of this one here. One of my favorite pieces that I got so far on the, on the trip is the um, Oblivion Chalice. You can see some of the amazing colors uh, green pink purple blues what caught my eye on this one is this line going right through the middle there that'll be real nice when it grows out you already have like a spot picked out in your tank in your head or absolutely yeah another really cool piece kind of reminds me of that rainbow pectinia that we were looking at before is the uh, jazzy fizzle chalice you kind of see sort of that darker uh, green and blue with the with the pink eyes very similar to that pectinia so until that piece is cut this will this will find a nice place in my tank and then this is another WWC staple this is the Pinko de Gallo Favia so really excited to get this one growing in the tank as well all right guys, so we're gonna pack up these corals that I picked here at WWC and I gotta head over to the airport and get these, get these new corals in my tank tonight when I land in Chicago. See you later.